Today we're here with my investing tier list. We've got 11 of the most potent categories out there. We're going to be starting it off right here with agents. Now agents are in a very interesting predicament because the truth is agents have shown themselves to be a very profitable investment. If we want to look at the long term right here, you can see they have absolutely dominated some of their respective fields and it's absolutely insane the amount of growth we've seen inside of this area. With that being said, we're also talking about them as an investment right now and therefore agents really don't have too much going on for them. In my honest opinion, I think they've gone ahead and shown that they have a massive growth potential when they're super cheap, but the truth is after Afterwards, they really start to die off in their true potential. Therefore, for agents, I'm going to have to throw them in the B tier category just because I think they have a lot of potential, but I think it's already been used up for the most part. SkinSwap is today's sponsor, and they're also sponsoring you with a free bonus for signing up with the first link in the description. They're the premier place for CSGO and Rust skins with a massive trading site and a top of the line marketplace, offering you the most competitive rates out there and a massive 40% bonus when you're using that link in the description. Combine that with their top of the line selling feature with many payout options and their trading feature legitimately taking you just about a minute and there's no reason not to sign up with that first link in the description. Second up on our list we have Stockholm and Antwerp. I just threw the Antwerp capsule in here. Now these ones are going to be your safe solid investment. When we're talking about sticker capsules everyone is looking at Stockholm and Antwerp as being those we know exactly what they theoretically should be doing. I really like them as an investment. Obviously their price point is a little bit more expensive than a lot of people really want it to be but when we look at the application numbers we look at the demand that these capsules still garner years, two years, three years after they've gone ahead and been released, I think it's very obvious to say that these capsules are in a very desirable position and anyone that didn't make an investment into them at 25 cents has obviously regretted that decision. We can see how expensive they are. Therefore, for that reason, I do still think Antwerp and Stockholm have a little bit to be desired just because of their current price point. It's obviously quite expensive and we know how they've developed, but for that reason, I think they're definitely an A tier investment. If you're looking for something that's going to be solid, it's going to have everything you're looking for other than a super cheap price point, this is definitely it. Now, third up on our list is going to be Hidden Gem Investments. Now, this is a term that I've actually created. It's not anything specific. The biggest thing about a hidden gem investment is it's something that doesn't have a massive supply, and it's also something that doesn't have a massive amount of demand. It's a little bit more of a low-key investment. It's something that you specifically pick up. You didn't get recommended by your friend, by your favorite YouTuber, me, or whatever. It's something that you've gone ahead and created as an investment because you think it looks really good. Usually, it ends up being a sticker or a skin, something consumable that's not having an infinite supply, and it's something that over time just generally starts to go up and outpace the market because there's not a huge supply of them. You could say that stickers usually fall into this area, some patches as well. I would say this is definitely an S tier investment. They're very hard to find, but if you can find one that is reliably something you want to go ahead and invest into, I think the potential is definitely there and it's such a strong investment. After that, we have Paris Capsules. Now, this one is a very interesting predicament because let's be completely honest, now they're down below 25 cents. I really don't know exactly what Paris is going to do and obviously you don't either. But with that being said, I still think that Paris is in a very okay position. Anyone that invested into Paris knew that there was a very strong potential with Copenhagen coming out that we could see a direct competitor come into play and therefore they would be in a much longer term investment than a lot of people wanted to go ahead and accept and realize. With that being said, I still think Paris is definitely something that you should have your eye on if you want to compare them to Copenhagen. I think a lot of people are definitely going to say that Paris is one that looks at least slightly better than Copenhagen and I think they are at least at this point going to see a little bit different applications. Therefore, I'm going to say Paris is a B tier investment. It's one that you need to be a little bit more careful of because it's a little bit more risky than some of these other ones, but the super low price point that it has offers up such an opportunity for so many people that I think it finds its way into the B tier. Next up, we have major stickers right here. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about these ones that are either extremely desirable or they have no borderless alternatives. These are going to be stickers with a concentrated amount of demand because they don't have any competitors out there for their direct logo, and those ones are going to be extremely desirable. I talk about them a lot, but they end up being one of the most profitable investments you can make because the concentrated demand and usually a little bit of a lower supply leads to a huge profit opportunity for so many of these stickers. It's one that I would definitely suggest you spend some time and effort looking into because the potential in this area is absolutely massive. For that reason, I think it's definitely an A tier investment. They're a little bit hard to find and they might be a little bit oversaturated now with the current sticker dynamics, but it's definitely a great opportunity. After that, we have just straight up operation items. Now, if you want to look at the data, we have not seen an operation in over two and a half years from being released. And therefore, all of these items are extremely expensive. We're talking about an investment today, you gotta remember. Therefore, operation items are not super desirable to make an investment into right now because they're so expensive and the profit potential is not really there. A lot of them have seen massive growth, a lot of people are still looking to sell them, and therefore, I definitely think it's more of a C-tier investment. When an operation comes out and they're super cheap, it's going to be up here in the S, the A, potentially even the B, depending on where you rank it, but right now, it's definitely a C-tier investment because there is just not enough going on. After that, we got rare cases, and you know how 
I feel about rare cases. Rare cases are one of my favorite investments to go ahead and make because they are so strong. If we want to look at unboxing numbers, I talk about it all the time. If we want to look about price points, I talk about it all the time. These things are on absolute fire. If we want to look at the one year and even longer. These graphs have shown that these items are so desirable and the fact that they're consumable, meaning the supply is only going down for the 99 percentile of rare cases out there other than the extremely expensive ones. And there's so much potential that I still think has not been fully capitalized off of. So many of these cases have so much demand behind them and the fact that we don't see massive price spikes out of nowhere consistently to me is honestly wild when we look at unboxing numbers. This is the S tier of all S tier investments in my personal opinion. It's usually safe as long as you're following the data you're going to know exactly what's going on. Then we have major autographs right here. These are going to be the stickers specifically and I think these are actually one of the worst investments you can go ahead and make. If you want to look at the simple autograph how it's evolved since Stockholm you can see that it really hasn't. Most of the time these don't really change up unless you find the baby one off that could potentially be worth it and it's not at a super inflated price point. Usually these are all absolutely terrible. These are a D tier investment. I wouldn't even call these an investment. These are more of a hobby pickup and I would highly suggest you avoid these at all costs because it's going to cost you. Then we have operation skins right here. Now operation skins kind of fall into the same category of what we talked about with operation items. I do still think they're a relatively decent investment but they're starting to get to the point now where they're extremely expensive. Most of them have seen 1,000-2,000% growth over the past couple of years and it really makes it a hard case to go ahead and argue that you should be investing into them. When an operation comes out, the potential is so there, it's absolutely wild. But I will say in the current moment, I would definitely suggest you potentially explore some other options, at least in the short term here. Wait till an operation comes out and the potential is definitely going to be back there. I'm going to throw them in B tier just because I think they are a great investment when the opportunity is there. But right now, a lot of them have just seen a little bit too much growth in a short time period. Second to last, we have the active duty cases. Now these ones for me are a very hard spot to put because we're really only talking about the fracture case and potentially the recoil case in this instance. I don't know. I don't really know where I would put these. Honestly, I don't think that investing into any active duty cases in the current market dynamics really makes sense. We can look at the snake bite. We can look at the clutch case. Even though they saw that major peak in price, a lot of them lost a significant amount of that afterwards. And I really don't think it's worth utilizing all that opportunity cost to go ahead and invest into these just for most likely it to end up with really nothing. There is some slight potential, so I'll put it in C tier, but it's not one that I would really even entertain the thought of in the current market dynamics. Finally then, we have play skins. Now play skins are not really something I would say is an overall investment opportunity, but the truth is I think they're a great balance for what you want to do. If you want to have fun in the game, remember it's a game about having fun. Don't force yourself to make all of your inventory an investment. It's just not worth it. For that reason, I think it's definitely more of a B tier. It's a great opportunity if you want to go ahead and utilize it to have some fun and also make some money while doing it. Make sure you're picking up some older skins and you're looking at the trajectories of what they're doing. This is my list. As long as you're making decisions with data, you're going to be all good. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Go be a great rest